So on this evening on Deepavali, I thought of myself burning up some diyas, but then unfortunately at this particular moment, I was not able to find any oil uh, at my home. Maybe it is at a place I'm not able to find it. Yeah, maybe it is empty right now. Whatever the case may be. But then I found something for the Happy Deepavali, the magic diyas now coming into the market. Okay, so these magic diyas are nothing. They're, it's not magic. It's actually science. It's actually electronics behind it. Okay, so what I'm going to do? Okay, let me put up some water onto it. What I only need, I don't need any matchbox, I don't need any cotton, I don't need any oil, I just need water. Let me pour a water onto it. Okay, and let's have a happy Deepavali. Right, so what is the magic and what is the science behind it? Let's talk briefly in this particular video and you know, related to your fundamentals that you keep learning in electronics. Hey guys, so first of all, a very happy Deepavali to all of you. Hope you'll have a safe and a prosperous Deepavali. So it's the festive time, it's the time of Deepavali and you know, it's uh, the festival of lights and you know, uh, around the evening time suddenly I saw my mother uh, burning up the diyas but she didn't have any matchbox or any oil with her and she just poured water, okay, into the diya and that, uh, you know, uh, surprised me, I went close and so, okay, this is what is now known as the magic diya in the market, it's nothing, it's, it, it is just like a water sensor diya. Okay, so uh, as you're able to see, okay, let, let's talk about it a little bit, okay, because it's basic electronics and you can relate it to your, uh, you know, subjects, to your curriculum, okay, so this, this is the surface where you pour the water and these are the two probes, okay, and this is the LED bulb connected, but what is internals, how the uh, uh, LED glows, first of all, uh, you must also be knowing that water is a bad conductor of electricity, so then how does it work, but water with impurities and especially water with salt is a very good conductor the salted water is a very good conductor of electricity that point is utilized here okay so for a reference have a look into the circuit diagram also okay and let me all uh, allow me to open this as well so as i shown you this is the surface where water is poured and these are the two probes okay so now if we open it this is what is the internals of it okay this is what you can have a look into it clearly so, can I, so that i can explain you the circuit diagram right so now uh, there there is a npn transistor used okay with the base okay one of the probe okay this one one of the probe is directly connected to the base that gives the supply there that gives the base current there okay once you pour water uh, the salted water there okay now uh, the led has been connected to the collector okay the, now the role of transistor here of course is for switching and more it is like a current amplification here okay if you look into the circuit diagram okay the emitter is connected to the negative terminal of the battery okay and then finally the, the other end of the battery is connected to the probe okay the second probe now this makes you know, if you look into the base emitter uh, connection this makes uh, it as a forward bias connection okay right it's a forward bias connection now uh, to glow the LED, we need a good amount of current in this situation and that is why the LED is connected to the collector. Okay, why? Because the collector current, as per the current amplification of this transistor, the collector current will be what? The beta times the base current. Okay, the base current will be minute here because there is no uh, source as such. It is, it is drawing it from the water. The, the circuit is being closed by the water. Okay. So we need to amplify that current to make the LED glow and that is why the LED is connected to the collector so that there is a good amount of current. Uh, uh, flowing through it, the beta times current and hence the LED can glow. Now, once again, let's have a look into it. This is a very simple circuit and very simple electronics. So due, due to some technicalities, I'm not able to explain you this properly uh, on this smart board. So that's why we are discussing it as an oral concept, but it's a very simple thing. Okay. So once again, guys, finally, let me pour some water into it and here the LED glows. So guys, I once again wish you all a very, very happy Deepavali. Hope you have got this very small concept, a very small electronics, but uh, becoming very popular in the market uh, because uh, number one reason is because of the ease of the use and also it's, it's economically very cheaper as well. Okay, so they're becoming uh, very trendy in the market. I think these have been there in the market last year, uh, from last year as well, yeah, maybe before that, but this year they found their popularity and uh, they're being sold up uh, rapidly. Okay guys, so have a very safe Deepavali, less than 3 months left for left gate, gate examination, so be very sincere and honest with your preparation as well along with the festive time. So happy Deepavali, be safe, take care of yourself, keep preparing hard, all the very very best for your examination, thank you.